everybody, I'm Brie the Plant Lady, and today I am taking on a long overdue garden maintenance project. Now, years ago, this used to be a bed full of strawberries. I used to get so much fruit off of them, and I loved it because it's right off my kitchen door. And this is prime real estate. Look, all of my hoses are here. This is the easiest place for me to water. But then I had added some very capable sedum and it has overrun this entire bed. So today I am going to dig out all of the sedum and then I am gonna get this bed replanted with some things that I would love to have right here for kitchen use, including some really cool dwarf blueberry varieties. I can't believe that I have let this get to the stage that it has. And I just think sometimes, you know, you, you live in your garden. I, I don't know. You just don't even see the problems. And then when you do see it, it's like you can't unsee it. So I have also in here Melissa Officinalis or Lemon Balm, which is also kind of a notorious spreader. That's what is right here. Um, you can see how it has this kind of stoloniferous habit where it, it roots along the stem. So this is another plant that's going to be perfect for putting out on a far property border, but it doesn't need to be in this prime real estate. So, like I said, long overdue. I loved when I could come out here and harvest all the strawberries that I could ever want. And I'm going to have that again soon. So you might be noticing that I'm being really careful to make sure that I dig out the sedum in whole. And that's because literally any little bit that you leave will root back in. And I don't want that. I don't want this bed to have another bit of sedum in it. This is just so absurd that I have let this get to the stage that you know, normally I would just like come in and rip it out. And when you do that, it leaves a bunch of roots and those roots will, will re-sprout. So you really do have to dig to make sure you're getting the entire root system. And like I said, it's not that I don't like this plant, it's that I don't want it here. This is too valuable real estate to have the whole area devoted this one plant that has the lowest maintenance needs. Uh, this is this should be an herb garden, quite frankly, um, and I may I may make that my mission to turn this into, you know, more of a, an area where I grow things that we use in the kitchen on a regular basis. And I'm really excited to get all of the strawberries replanted so that eventually this will be an evergreen ground, ground cover of strawberries that I love to grow. Strawberries bring me a lot more joy than, than this sedum. <laughs> well, I think I've done a pretty good job. I've got a full wheelbarrow of that sedum, which I will transplant to a different bed. And now I am just gonna get this soil smoothed out and I will add some a blend of ground aged pine bark and soil cube so that I can get my blueberries planted and then get all of these strawberries that I untangled from the sedum planted back in this bed. So blank slate and I really can't believe how this bed was never really amended like this is my native sand you can see it's just it's all sand everywhere here that's why i amend so much using compost so this will be this will definitely benefit from a good combo of soil cube compost and because i'm gonna do blueberries ground aged pine bark i'm just gonna mix these sort of half and half and then i'm gonna get busy transplanting so I have all those to put back in the ground. And then here are my dwarf blueberries that have been in this container for like three or four years. It's high time they get planted in the ground. Get some love. 
So now that I have these blueberries out of the pot, and I'm looking at how big and unshapely they are, I'm not sure this is the right place for all three of them. So I'm gonna keep this one perpetua and plant it in the middle. And I'm gonna take these other two, which are, I think they're called blue buckle. Um, and I'm gonna move those into a different area where I also grow other cultivars to ensure that they will get proper cross pollination. But I think because I'm now like really in love with the idea of making this kind of an herb bed. I don't want to fill the entire space up with blueberries, but I think having one is completely legit. So I am just going to get this planted then I'm going to get these things transplanted and then I'm going to walk around the garden and see if I have any herbs that I can transplant into here. If not, that means that I will get to go to the garden center again. Well, as you can see, things are a little bit wilty. I'm gonna get these watered immediately. I think the blanket flower or gallardia are going to kind of suffer the most because they were basically bare rooted unintentionally. And some of these strawberries in the long haul, I might have to come through and cut some of the foliage off. But for now, I'm gonna just try and keep this watered because like I said, it's right here at my hose. This is the easiest place for me to be able to water. Now, um, I've already kind of filled it up a lot, but I have a few things that I'm gonna add in here, um, like some kohlrabi that I have growing in the greenhouse. And I don't have any herbs that are really like on hand to transplant. So long-term this summer, I will you know, focus on adding a few things like thyme, oregano, and probably some additional basils, just to fill in some of the gaps and make this bed extra interesting since this is the place that I walk past every time I leave my house. Well, you can see I filled in a lot of the holes with some annuals. I have some coleus and some nicotiana, some calendula that's starting to bloom, and a handful of kohlrabis. And I think this bed is going to look great. Hopefully, all of the Things I transplanted will perk up. We have nice cool temperatures. I could have done a better job and when I dug them up, I really should have put them in a bucket of water, but I wasn't really thinking. So if you're gonna do this project, that's what I would recommend. Don't rip them out and stick them on concrete like I did. Uh, just get a bucket of water, put them in there so that they don't go into transplant shock. Well, I look forward to giving you all updates on this foundation landscape renovation where I ripped out the sedum, retransplanted a bunch of strawberries so that I'll be able to have some delicious fruit to harvest right off my kitchen door. Thank you all so much for watching.